Hello, check it out what I got. This is a fine piece of equipment from Shure. This is a wireless microphone and the receiver. And uh, I got it really, really cheap uh, because there is a problem with it. Uh, I paid $32 and a half delivered. And this stuff costs probably a couple hundred or so. Uh, well, the, the capsule here on the transmitter is a lower end. But anyway, this is a very nice piece of equipment. Uh, sure built really, really uh, quality things, which last long time and work reliably. Uh, but, well, sometimes stuff fails, like this one did, and it was described as uh, microphone flashes red light and no sound. Uh, that's not what I found. I see that it just doesn't power up. However, I managed to power it up a couple of times and it worked fine. It produced the sound. Uh, everything was just fine. Let's try. Now... Okay, I clicked like dozens of times before and it powered up a couple of times. So apparently something is intermittent there, but once it powers up it works fine. Well, I'm not sure if I can reproduce that. So, probably we should start taking it apart to have a look what's happening. Alright, let's do just that. So, uh, this capsule should just unscrew. And these are interchangeable capsules. There are much better ones than this, much more expensive. So, there is that board. And there's some kind of a screw here. Let me try to take it apart maybe off camera yeah sure enough pun intended uh, I took out this one screw and this whole board just slides right out no problems at all okay let's have a closer look and look what I found so, here is this continuity check and this button, uh, well, not very convenient, with just two hands, but anyway, uh, seems like the button has failed. So, I'm pressing the button, nothing happens. So, there is another identical button here for changing channels. And when I probe this one, well, obviously that one works just fine, but this one doesn't. So, when I managed to power it up a couple of times, maybe I pressed it harder or something, or it just partially failed inside. Uh, so, yeah, let me try to maybe press it a little harder. And nothing happens. Okay. Anyway, I don't think I have such buttons sitting around, so I need to go have a look. What can I do about it? So here is the switch, and it doesn't work at all now, and uh, I don't have replacement, however. I put a bigger one soldered 
temporarily just to test this whole thing before I worry about placing some order somewhere like DJ key or something like that uh, all right let's give it a try yeah there you go you need to hold it for a couple seconds or so it powers on it shows channel 3 uh, and let's see there's channel 2 here well but anyway I won't be able to test it right now because I need to attach the capsule for which I need to put it back into the case well anyway let's just try several times oh, okay so this is mute when you press it for a short time I don't know if it's visible on camera press it for a short time the LED becomes uh, from from yellow it goes to oh, whatever green yeah green yellowish or something it goes to that reddish color well but it doesn't flash so I don't know how they described that it was flashing red or maybe it starts flashing when battery is low or something like that and the switch was failing perhaps at the same time so they decided this is a problem that flashing red but maybe it was just battery low or something like that so I have no idea how they tested anyway looks like the thing works so if I press it press the, the switch and hold it for a couple seconds it powers off now I press it hold it for a couple seconds it powers on so yeah it works no problems so I need to go order this switch and put it back together and by the way while we are at this why don't we just have a look at the other side of the board so I believe this one screw holds this plastic cover so let me take it apart yes it was easy yeah there is the connector for the battery terminals and I suppose all the high frequency transmission part is here this 500 something like 540 megahertz or something like that uh, and I removed the cover from this high frequency metal can uh, well because it's very easy why don't we have a look and look at the high quality of the build of this board yeah I've seen a few pieces of equipment by sure and all the time I see this kind of quality extra class so I ordered such switch on DigiKey uh, it's only 23 cents a piece uh, of course um, shipping would be another four or five dollars or so but I happen to have a friend who periodically orders tons of things from DigiKey so I will save a shipping cost um, um, and um, it will arrive perhaps in a week or so and in the meantime I wanted to show an alternative solution suppose we don't have a part at all so I moved this one which is for switching channels and uh, put it in the power position and we will be have just fixed channel for now uh, well of course when it arrives I will put it in but for now it works there you go it powers up no problems short click puts it into a mute mode unmute and hold it for a while it powers off so it works just fine let me put it back together for now 
So here it is, back together. It powers on. And when I talk into it, this LED for audio signal blinks. And I tested the thing, connected to a mixing board I have, listen to the sound through headphones. It works perfectly. It is in very, very nice shape. Not a scratch, not a dent. It's a common problem when people drop the thing on the floor. Uh, dent this grill. This one looks very nice. And I think I got it really cheap, even for, for repair. It was really good price. So I got lucky. Uh, and I'm afraid it was not very interesting repair video in terms of electronic content. But uh, at least we had a look at the build quality of the Shure equipment. And it's typical for, for them to have such a nice build quality. So thanks for watching. Bye.